Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellows with Jesus Christ today. Today is October 26th, 2023, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Overcoming Fear. The scripture is from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 8 through 10. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, who, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham, my friend, you whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest corners, saying to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you off. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Amen. Today's story is from Cindy, who lives in South Africa. I was afraid when I first went to boarding school because I, have he I had heard nasty stories about boarding school life. But as our parents dropped my sister and me off at school, my sister said, being, the, being a first year student can be hectic. Senior students may give you a hard time. They may even take your belongings without your consent. You are lucky because I will always be there for you. My sister's words took away my fear. Knowing that my sister would take care of me brought some relief. How much more encouragement, strength, and comfort can we have in knowing that God is always there, ready to help us. Isaiah 41.10 assures us that we have nothing to fear and no reason to be dismayed. Although God does not promise us a life free of trouble, troubles, God promises to be present, to give us strength, and to uphold us with God's righteous right hand. And God's promises are forever. When others try to tear us down and we feel that we cannot overcome, we must remember that God is always with us and will uphold us. Amen. Amen. How are you, everyone? I hope you are doing well and everything goes well to you. Do you know God is with you? Do you know God is always ready to help you? Sometimes when we have fear because we think we don't have anything to rely on, we don't trust anything in our lives to solve the problem what we expect. However, God is always with us and that truth is great peace for us. Make peace in our hearts. You know what? I have three kids, small kids, and whenever we go to a strange place, my youngest, it is, I mean, my youngest feel a little bit afraid of the new environment, even if it is kinds of play, uh, indoor playground kinds of that. However, because I am with her and my wife is with her, I mean, my family is with her, she doesn't afraid of anything and go around. She sometimes she can she is in the place where she, she cannot see us because of she is in the corner. We have a different we are in the different corner. Still, she does not afraid, but try to. Uh, I mean, but enjoy that time. Why? Because she know. She knows that we are there, the promised place. We are always there. And she knows that her daddy and mommy can help her anytime. Whenever she needs help, just say, 
Mommy, Daddy, help me. And she knew, know that and trust that her parents comes to her and help her, help her. I hope you and I have the same faith in God. God is with us. God loves us forever. And God is ready to help us all the time. Whenever we ask God, whenever we are in trouble, God is with us and takes care of us because God loves us. Rather than afraid of anything, I hope you and I go forward, move forward, and enjoy the time and the moment in the trust, in the, in the confidence of God's presence and God's help. Sometimes we need very, uh, should be very simple. Like the child who see their parents and don't worry about anything, I believe we also have to learn that attitude, that confidence, and that assurance from the kid. Church family, God is our parent. God is our father. God is the one who is almighty and who have power to do everything, whatever God wants. And the God loves us and with us. So we don't need to afraid of anything in our lives. Are you in trouble right now? And are you worried about, worry about that and concerns for that so much? Are you trembling? Just ask God. Rather than fear for something, let us trust in God and ask God to help us. Whenever fear comes, just ask God, Lord, let me, please give me the faith. Let me trust in you more because you love me so much and you are ready to help me all the time. I hope you and I have this faith and enjoy our lives. And whenever we have trouble, just ask God and God will give us God's righteous right hand to save us. Let us pray. Faithful God, help us always to trust and hold on to your promises, even in the face of adversity. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and thank you. Bye-bye.